Okay, so this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to set up uh, VRTK V3 with Oculus Quest. Um, I'll have another video that goes over how to use V4, uh, but that one's basically just plug and play. You don't really need to do anything special. So for V3, we're going to start out on the VRTK GitHub page. Uh, you can also download it from the asset store, it doesn't really matter. And so I'm just going to go to releases here and download version 3 and then scroll down and then download the source zip. And then, so I'm gonna leave that there for a second and I'm going to bring up a new Unity project. And so I'm just gonna use version 2019.1.3. Um, it should work with 2018 as well, but this is the one that I had the most luck with. So I'm just gonna name it VRTK Tutorial v3 and create the project and so when you install whatever version of unity you want to use um, if you're using unity hub you can click on the install and then make sure that you also have the android tools installed along with that um, it's like a two gigabyte install uh, per unity version and so you can just add it on to whatever unity version you're currently using or if you want to do a whole new install you can select it as an extra module so then after you open up your new project, we're going to go to the asset store, which we're already on here. And then we're going to just go for the Oculus integration package. Um, hopefully the asset store is still not down, not still down. Uh, let me sign in here really quick. Um, sorry about that. So after you sign in to Unity Hub, or I mean your Unity project, the asset store, we're going to download the Oculus uh, integration package. And so you want the latest package, it's 1.37. Um, this one is the one that works. So if you have an earlier uh, package, it might work. Um, but this one is the one that has the Quest controllers in it and it's definitely uh, less buggy than any of the older versions. Um, so after this, you're going to download, import it, and then we're going to have to make a couple changes to the Oculus integration. Um, we have to change the OVR avatar script to work with VRDK v3. But so while that's uh, installing, we're going to go into the VRDK v3 download that we have, and so I'm using WinRAR. Uh, you're going to go in, click inside of it, and then click on the Assets folder in here. And then we want to extract this. We don't want uh, the whole folder because it's a full project and it'll overwrite any settings that you already have. So we're going to just extract it to our Assets folder. Uh, so I'm going to go to my project here. I'm just going to put it in my Base Assets folder. It doesn't really matter where you put it. Um, and then so after you get that in, now we're going to have to install Oculus and VRDK in here. And so you can just let Unity do its thing for a couple minutes. And so while that's going, I'm actually going to get one other thing set up. So to do this, you're going to want to get your Android environment set up. So if you already have Android installed, you don't have to worry about this part. If you don't have Android installed, the easiest way is to go to Android Studio. And then you're going to want to download Android Studio right here. And then after you go through all the installation instructions there, you're probably going to have to restart maybe once or twice. And then once that's installed, you're going to want to open it up. And so inside Android Studio here, we're going to get to the SDK Manager. So I just go through the help window because that's how I know how to do it. And then so in this SDK Manager, we need to download whatever SDK that we're going to target. And so for Quest, I'm using Android 6 Marshmallow, um, which is the API level 23. It probably works <clears throat> excuse me, with versions higher than 23, but I haven't tested it, and I don't really uh, want to recommend something that I don't really know if it works or not. So, And then inside of Unity now, we'll notice that it's asking if it, I want to update. Um, even though there's no update, I'm just going to click yes, and then Unity will restart itself. 
uh, but back to Android Studio. So you're just going to select whatever. So you're going to want to click the checkbox on whatever SDKs you want to install. Uh, 23 should be good. And then you're going to hit apply and then it'll download everything or delete everything if you want to get rid of some extra SDKs uh, since they do take up a little bit of space each. And then you can just hit OK and you can close out Android Studio. And so then your dev environment is going to be all set up and ready to go. So now we're going to get into Unity. And so this is just a blank Unity project. All I have in here is VRTK and Oculus. And so I'm in 2019. So we have the package manager here. So I'm going to go to our packages folder. And so I have this Oculus Android package and the Oculus desktop package. So I'm going to install the Android one first. If you want to test your project with your Rift in editor, then I also, which I do recommend, then you also have to download this Oculus desktop package. Um, but I'm not going to do that right now. So once I have this package installed, we're going to go to a VRTK scene and we're just going to use example five. And so let's see. So this is the interactable object scene. And so let me turn off these gizmos really quick. And so you're going to notice that Unity is probably going to recompile some stuff. And then, yeah, and so then it'll be into the scene. And so I just want to turn off these gizmos. But, okay, so now we're in our scene. And you'll notice up here we have this prefab. That's the SDK manager. And so you're going to want to open this up. And under this first uh, SDK manager, you're going to want to delete this SDK setup switcher uh, because we just don't need it. And so, yeah, you can just get rid of that right away. And then now you're going to expand this SDK setups in the hierarchy. And so I'm going to delete everything that isn't Oculus because I'm not using it. And, yeah, there's no point in really having it there um, if I'm not going to use it. So, yeah, so I'm going to delete... The Windows Mixed Reality, the Simulator, and any of the other ones. And then we'll see, uh, now we can go to our VRDK setup, uh, this SDK manager here, sorry. And so the settings that I use are to have uh, both of these SDK Oculus avatar symbols um, unchecked. And then down here for this auto load. I have the auto load and auto manager VR settings checked, so just like this. And then for the actual manager, I have Oculus at the top. And then I actually deleted all these other ones. So it's just Oculus here. And then at the bottom here, I deleted this script right here. Um, you don't need to, but I have it deleted. Um, this script is just for the example scenes um, because. For some reason, the example scenes you'll start in the floor. So if you're in the example scene and you want to build one of these, then definitely uh, leave this script here. And so then we can go down to our Oculus setup script. And so right here, we want to turn off this auto populate if it comes on by default, um, because we just don't want that uh, enabled here, um, because it'll mess up with our build and we're never going to get our build to load correctly. And then under that, we have our OVR camera rig and our local avatar. So now we're going to just delete this local avatar because I don't use it. Um, if you want to keep it, there are ways to keep it. You just leave it there. And then so for this uh, OVR avatar script right here, you're going to notice that this is a camera rig prefab foam Oculus, but it's missing all of its scripts. So we're just going to delete this for now. And then we're going to go to our assets folder and then search for our OVR camera rig. Oops. And we're going to drag that in and replace it with, uh, or replace the one that we just deleted. And then, so you're also going to notice that by default, this VRDK setup uh, script that's just uh, labeled Oculus in the hierarchy comes disabled. But we're going to want to enable that um, because for some reason, that causes the program to crash um, when it's not automatically enabled. And then, so then you're also going to notice that all of these are missing their objects. So you can hit populate now and it'll grab all the correct references um, from your OVR camera rig. 
And then the last thing that we need to do on this object is to change this Oculus Rift standalone to Gear VR Android Oculus. So you're going to select that, and then Unity is going to recompile a bunch of stuff. And then after that's done, um, we're going to go, so you're going to see some errors, obviously, for now. We're going to go to our project settings um, here, and then we're going to go, well, first we're going to go to our file, and then build settings. And we're going to click on Android here, and hit switch platform. Um, you can also do that first if you want. Uh, I just sort of forgot when I started this tutorial. And so that's going to change every single thing to work with the Android platform. Um, and in the meantime, uh, you can just wait for Unity to change everything. You can also grab your Oculus Quest, and you're going to want to plug it into your PC with uh, the USB-C cable. Um, so if your PC doesn't have a USB-C port, then you're going to need to buy a USB-C to USB-A cable. And you're going to want to make sure that you get one that's rated for data transfer and not just for charging. Um, so make sure wherever you get it, Amazon or wherever, um, it's explicitly listed in the specs that it can do data charging. And so now I'm going to pause this and we'll come back when it's done. Okay, and now we're back and Unity has changed our build target. So it's going to be listed as Android here in our build settings. And so I'm just using all of the, the excuse me, default settings. And so I know some people are using texture compression, but I'm not going to mess with any of that currently. So we can clear out all of our errors in the console finally. And so now we're going to go to our Android settings here in the project settings. So if you don't have a tab up here for it, you're going to want to go to edit and then project settings right here. And so in the project settings, I'm going to click on the Android settings. And then I'm going to, in the XR settings on the bottom, I have virtual reality supported check. And then my SDK is Oculus. And so if this doesn't come up by default, you just hit the little plus and select Oculus. And then I have the multi-pass uh, rendering on. And so I'm just going to leave that um, standard. And so now for our other settings, we're going to click on other settings. And so we're going to want to change our color space to linear for the quest. And then so it's going to say that we need to uncheck a couple things. So if auto graphics API is checked, then we're going to want to uncheck it. And then we're going to take Vulkan out of the graphics API. And after that, we are, sorry, I haven't seen this one in a second. So we're going to scroll down for now. And so we're going to scroll down and under our identification, um, you can change the name here with keeping this uh, format. And then for our minimum API level, uh, we're going to set this to I'm going to set it to Android 6, which is API level 23, and that's the one that I downloaded in the SDK manager from Android Studio earlier. And then I'm also going to set the target API level to the same thing, since that's the only uh, API level that I want to target at the moment. And then after that, we're going to scroll back up here. And so notice that's already updated. So this is all going to work for this and let me just compare it to my other project to make sure that we're doing the same exact thing yes okay and so the rest of the default um, settings should be fine um, if unity if you're using a different unity version um, you're definitely gonna have to change some stuff after that and so everything else should be okay and so now after setting that up um, we should have a working project um, within our, uh, you, or we should have a working scene within our project, sorry. And so we're going to, we can look through our VRTK um, scripts here. And so these are like the scripts that are gonna run into our scene. And so in this scene, um, this just consists of teleporting throughout these nodes. Um, and then you can pick up objects at each little station. And so all of those scripts are within our controller aliases. Um, and so this VRTK uses um, the custom hands in this um, scene, but the Oculus integration will handle controllers um, as long as you have the camera rig in the scene. And if you want to switch uh, automatically or you want to view the controllers in the scene, 
then there is a prefab that you can drag in for that as well um, that has all of the controller models inside of it so you won't have to worry about any of that. Um, but I'm not going to go over any specific stuff like that right now because it doesn't really fit the video. And so after doing all of this, um, to make the project run okay, um, you're probably going to want to bake all the lights. Um, there's only one directional light in this scene, so it shouldn't be too big of an issue. But to do that, you can just go to lighting and then uh, make sure that the light in the scene is set to baked and then just hit generate lighting down here. And so I'm not going to go over that, but that should be all you need to get the project running on uh, Oculus Quest with VRTK V3. So to build it, um, we're going to go to file and then build settings. And then we're going to add this scene. And then just to verify that our Oculus Quest is currently uh, working, we are going to hit Windows R on the keyboard and then type in CMD for the command line. And so now, as long as your Quest is in developer mode, which you do via the app um, on your phone, you just click the Quest and then hit the settings and developer mode. Once it's in developer mode, you're going to type ADB devices and this will list the device attached. And so this is my Quest right here. And then so now that we know our quest is set up, all we have to do is hit build and run right here. And Unity will automatically build the scene. And then ADB will copy um, the APK over to the quest. And it will show up automatically. And if it doesn't show up automatically or you close it and you want to play again later, then you can just uh, go to your library and then click unknown sources. And the quest will... Uh, I mean, your file will be in there and you can play it on the Quest. And so, yeah, so that should cover the basics of setting this up. If you need any help, um, I'm going to put the VRTK Slack link in the description. And so if you need anything extra, uh, you can go in there and ask some questions. Um, and yeah, so I hope this uh, was helpful if you need it. And I'll be posting a link as well to the V4 setup video in the description whenever I get that finished. So thanks for watching and I hope it helped.